This is an ABC News special report. I'm with Johnson in New York. We're back with more on that breaking news. A suspect now in custody related to those suspected explosive devices sent through the mail. Now more than a dozen packages, two of them found just this morning, one in New York, one in Florida. We are watching the White House right now because President Trump is in the East Room at a previously scheduled event. This is the Young Black Leadership Summit, and he is addressing all of the developments in the case. He's speaking about it right now. Let's listen. To begin today's remarks, by all right, there you heard President Trump right now so speaking in the East group. Room about the latest developments in the case of those suspected right. explosive devices anyway. sent through the mail. He said some things uh, very specific here. He said, despicable and have no place in our country. Speaking of the act itself, he says he wants swift and certain justice. And this is interesting, too. He talked about that we must never allow political violence to take root in America and that Americans must unify, show the world that we are united in peace and love and harmony. I want to go to our White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, to talk more about this. Cecilia, it's interesting, these comments, uh, given lately, he's been frustrated with the perception related to this investigation, feeling as though people were laying the blame on him. And those are tough questions with that this White House has been facing for a few days now as the rhetoric heats up in the middle of this midterm election. Absolutely. Cecilia Vega at the White House, the president also applauding law enforcement, talking about how quickly they were able to apprehend a suspect. Let's get right to Pierre Thomas, our senior justice correspondent in Washington, because we're getting much more information about the suspect, Pierre, and some of the key elements, some of the things that led authorities to that person. What can you tell us? Well, with the newest information we have, we can now identify the suspect in custody be to break in the case. All right, Pierre Thomas for us. Thank you. And I do want to point out, while the president called them bombs, we're calling them suspected explosive devices because law enforcement sources are telling us they don't know yet the sophistication level of these devices. They want to inspect them, and that's all part of the investigation. Let's go to Eva Pilgrim in Florida because Opelaka, Florida, Eva, became a focal point of this case in the past few days, specifically a postal facility where they were able to intercept some of these packages. That's right, where they came here, what he did. Whit. All right, Eva, thank you. And I do want to point out some video that we've been showing you of a white van. We know that that van is somehow related to the investigation. It has been seized by law enforcement. There you see it covered in a tarp. We don't know exactly what the relationship is between that van and the suspect in custody, but authorities, no doubt, will be investigating that as well. The Justice Department is going to have a press conference later this afternoon to provide more details. When anything happens in this case, we'll bring that to you. In the meantime, stay tuned. Please come back for World News Tonight with David Muir and all the latest developments on ABCnews.com and on our ABC News app for breaking news alerts. I'm Whit Johnson in New York. Have a good day. This has been a special report from ABC News.